Hey everyone! Welcome back to Maru's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Builder Gel by Vetsy. This is a beautiful jelly pink builder gel that is incredible for beginners as it is super thick. It's kind of like a Ranier poly gel formula and it's super easy to work with and i'm super excited to share this tutorial with you today as we're going for a spring nail look so as you can see it comes in this beautiful packaging that is clear on the bottom and has a silver cap and this is the color of the gel that i got it is this beautiful jelly pink shade it's perfect for spring and as soon as i saw this color i knew that i had to go for some spring floral encapsulated nails so that's what we're going for today Betsy also sent me this synthetic brush for the gel and it looks like this, it's really pretty. And without further ado, let's start the nail art! So for today's look, I wanted to go ahead and try using forms instead of tips or anything else. I wanted to be able to have full creativity and control uh, with this particular product. As you will see, it's super easy to work with. I am not experienced in using gel. I really usually don't use it, but this is super easy to work with. And I, I know I keep repeating this, but you will see as I work it just how smoothly it lays and goes right into place so i just started by applying my forms these kind of look like fish and i thought they were very cute so i wanted to use them today so here you can see a first look of the gel it's a very very thick builder gel and the very first thing that I'm going to be doing is taking a tiny amount and just applying it on my natural nail. This is kind of like a slip um, base. This will help me essentially build the nail with a lot more ease later on and allow me to put the gel not like super close to the cuticle so I don't flood it. So it's kind of like a base coat that you would use for poly gel, but I always start with this for gel nails. And now we're gonna start building the nail. So I will try explaining to you exactly how I work when it comes to encapsulating something. For this particular set, I took quite a bit of gel, as you can see, and I placed it on like the middle towards the second half of my nail, and I started building upwards. And I took a lot of it because as you can see, I'm sculpting really long stiletto uh, nails. So what I'm doing here is I am not building structure. I am simply applying the product in a way that will allow me to create an extension, as if you would with a plastic nail tip. And then I will go ahead and pinch it so I make sure that it has a good curve and that it's a structurally good nail so that then when I build on top of it, it already has a very good foundation. And in between this layer and the layer that I will put on top of it, it will help me just make sure that the nail is strong, especially when it comes to longer nails like this, you need to make sure that you have enough product on there um, because otherwise they will break easily and this could damage your natural nail as well. So just make sure that you have a good enough amount and that you cover from sidewall to sidewall of your nail going up towards the end of the tip. And you can see the product is super easy to work with. Um, as I said, I'm not super experienced with gel, but I am just, you know, using swirling motions to get it where I want and I just drag it into place. And then every time that I cure it, I just go ahead and I pinch it for a few seconds. And this is pretty much the process that I'm going to repeat for every single nail. Once again, you can see that I have not applied it to my cuticle area because I will be doing an ombre with poly gel later on. So I just wanted to keep that only on like the second half and up just to create the structure that I want in order to be able to encapsulate um, the flowers that I'll be using later on.
So for the flowers that I will be encapsulating, I immediately just thought of these blossoms, uh, they're cherry blossoms um, that I got from AliExpress a long time ago. So in order to encapsulate with this particular gel, I decided to apply a small amount of the gel onto the nail, then put the flowers on and kind of put a little bit of gel on top of them as I place them in place. <laughs> and I decided to use the lamp that Betsy sent me. I actually want to give away this is not PR, by the way, just letting you guys know. Um, this is one of those uh, jelly stamper lamps. Um, it has a jelly stamp on the side and you can just press it onto the nail and it keeps everything in place. But when I did this, I noticed that the flowers moved a lot. So instead I decided to just do it like place one flower here and one next to it so that they don't really move out of place and then move on and cure the rest of them on the rest of the nail so that I don't have to work with a very big surface when it comes to the nail stamper. I hope that makes sense but it worked really well. If this is not something that you can do you can simply go ahead and apply a thinner layer of the base that I did like on the forms and then just simply place your flowers on top and cover them with your gel of choice or any other gel product like a poly gel or something but this is what I went with and I think they look really really cute I also decided that I wanted to use some glitter on these and I really thought that this solid uh, gel was the best option for these nails first of all I am in love with the color of this glitter I thought that it would be an amazing addition and also the fact that it's solid and then I don't have to mix it with any other gel for it to stay in place and actually look good is a very big advantage when you do encapsulated nails And now that everything is cured and into place, I'm going to go ahead and pick a nude poly gel. I'm using one from Macard and I decided to go with a slightly lighter shade because I thought that it would match like the theme of the flowers more. And I just placed a good amount of it onto my cuticle area and I started spreading it upwards. And as you can see, I applied a little bit too much of the gel on this nail, but it's okay. Um, when you bring it up like where the apex is at that area, you're going to keep your brush dry and you're going to slowly spread it upwards to create the ombre. You're trying essentially to drag the product upwards so that you can go ahead and create a fade without actually like pushing the product up. You don't want to create coverage, you just want to be able to fade the product enough so that whatever is underneath it shows through. I think you can see it pretty clearly on that nail. Um, so yeah, it's super fun to create ombre nails like this and I really really like the Macard poly gels. So they're super easy to work with, just like the Vetsy Builder gel that we used today. So yeah, I thought that the ombre would look amazing with this look. And finally it's time to encapsulate everything and I'm just using another big blob <laughs> glob blob of the gel <laughs> and I'm going to be applying it right on top of all the glitter and the flowers that we added and I'm going to be smoothing it out on the sides this is where I will make sure that I have added enough product to connect it to the poly gel and so that it's well structurally and it's strong enough and that I make sure that when I do file it uh, to give it the shape that I want, it's not going to destroy the flowers and the glitter that we encapsulated. So you need to make sure that you have a very thin base at first and then on the top of it you need to add enough product to create a good structure as well as make sure that you're not going to file any of your beautiful ornaments away. <laughs>
and I decided to do my filing off camera. So this is probably the quickest transition you will see in this video. So whoop, there they are. <laughs> they are filed and ready and prepped. And as you can see, they look absolutely beautiful. I am in love with these nails. So the next step is to apply a layer of base coat to all of the nails. So whatever we add on top of them is going to stay in place. And I am going to be adding a few uh, rainstones on top because you know, no bling is ever enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my trusty Vanalisa gem glue, which is essentially like a very thick gel. And I'm going to be placing it on all the points where I want to add rhinestones. And before I cure that, I will also apply some uh, shiny top coat. Then I will go ahead and place my rhinestones on that particular part. And then I will cure it in the lamp for 30 to 60 seconds, depending on your lamp. And I also decided to add some caviar beads because I thought that the pink blended in with the pink under it too much and the silver kind of gave it a bit of a different sheen. I really liked it. I thought it looked really cute, so I hope you like it as well. And after those have been cured, I went ahead and I added a layer of shiny top coat to all of my nails. For this look, I'm using the Macart top coat, which is honestly probably my favorite top coat. It's super shiny, cures amazingly. And I'm also going to add a layer of the top coat on the underside of my nails. Just because these are clear nails, I wanted to make sure that they look as transparent as possible. Following that, I will add some cuticle oil to nourish my cuticles. And here is the finished look. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with these nails, you guys. I did not want to take this off, but I'm a copywriter um, for my day job and it was so difficult to write with them, so I had to remove them and I'm so sad over it. But yeah, <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you could give this builder gel a try. It's truly phenomenal for beginners, super easy to work with. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment telling me what you thought. Subscribe for more videos every single week. And I will see you guys on next week's video. And this is going to be very exciting. So make sure to stay tuned.